Oh, uh, hi. We're celebrating raccoons, miss. And giving you the gift of raccoons. Follow me. It's a mama raccoon, and she has babies. But she's stuck in a basement wall. They really need to get the mama Mommy. and her babies out. Luckily, someone called for animal rescuers. <coughs> right away, the rescuers knew this would be a pretty tricky rescue. They had to take the babies out of the wall. But the mama wasn't ready to let them do that. She didn't want them anywhere near her babies. Mamas can be like that, a little too overprotective. The rescuers decided to distract the mama by making a lot of noise. Okay, there she goes. It worked for a little bit, but then... Oh, she does not look happy. The rescuers moved fast to get the babies out. They used special raccoon grabber claws to gently reach in and pull them up. So I have a grabber claw here. I grabbed it because the rescuers used a, gra used a grabber claw. I don't know how well it will grab raccoons, but this thing sure works. <laughs> this is my dog. Mm, I would recommend it for a stuffed animal rescue, not a real animal rescue. Their rubber claw was meant to pick up real animals. This thing here is a toy. Okay, two babies are out. One to go. Oh, there's the mother. She's coming. Uh-oh. Mama's back. They better hustle up or Mama is not going to be happy. They grabbed the last baby just in time. She's coming in to get her baby. we got to be careful here. She won't hesitate to bite us. Raccoons mean serious business, especially when they don't know that you're trying to help their babies. Those are some very brave rescues. They put all the babies in a soft bag and said goodbye to mom. See you outside. They had a special plan to get her out. The rescuers knew that if they brought the babies outside, the mama would eventually come out on her own. So they placed one in the yard. This raccoon is probably thinking, But the baby didn't have to wait long. The mama crept from under the house and ran off with baby number one. The mother just came out and grabbed her one baby and took it over the fence into that backyard. So we're going to place these babies in our baby box and she can grab them. The rescuers placed the other two babies in a special box so that the mama could find them. Then they sealed up the hole into the basement so the raccoons couldn't get lost in there again. Mama still isn't back. We're back on the job site the next day to check on the babies in the box so we'll see if mom took the other two. The door is open and they're gone so you can go look in there. She took her babies. That's a very good mama. She was so protective of her little babies. Animal rescuers are the best. It got a little scary there at one point. But they were brave and worked super hard to get those little raccoons to safety. I'm sure the mama would thank them if she could. Remember, if you see an animal in trouble, do not try to rescue them by yourself. Ask an adult family member for help. My mom helps me with the dogs I rescue. That little 
raccoon's head is stuck in a can. A guy named Mac is gonna try to get him unstuck. This raccoon over here needs rescuing. Mac was going for a walk when he saw a raccoon with his head in a can. He got his head stuck. He's probably feeling really scared. He's probably like, what? Where is everybody? Who turned out the lights? Mac's pretty sure he can just pull the can off. His neighbor came over to see what was going on. Mac's like, no need to worry, I got this. That raccoon, he's scared. He's just doing little circles. Max, like, I don't got this. I'm like, man, I need help. And lucky for him, help came. Another neighbor showed up. They have to be really careful. When wild animals are scared or nervous, they'll bite or scratch to protect themselves. So they got a yoga mat to put around the raccoon while they tried to pull the can off but they had to kind of hold him down and then pull it off. But it's really stuck. If they can't figure something out, the raccoon's gonna be stuck in there forever. Then, Mac had an idea. All right, I just went and got these from my shed. Try to cut off that can. Since they can't pull it off, they'll have to cut it off. All right, let's see if we can get this. Where is he? He ran away to a field nearby. They have to catch him if they're going to help him. After him, Mac! I thought he was tired. This has to be a pretty crummy day for that raccoon. He can't see anything. It's all right, buddy. They've almost got him. Nope, not yet. Nobody said rescuing raccoons was easy. They finally get close enough. They put the yoga mat around the raccoon again so they don't get scratched while they hold them still. Careful. And it's off. Phew, that's gotta feel so good. Run, little raccoon, you're free. Thank you guys. It's a good thing Mac and his neighbors found that poor baby. They came together and all helped save the raccoon's life. Remember, if you see an animal in trouble, do not try to rescue them by yourself. My mom helps me with the dogs I rescue. Raccoon's nickname is AKA the Trash Panda. I've got a bad feeling about this dumpster. Oh no, there's a raccoon trapped in there. Wait, there's a whole family of raccoons in there? I wonder how they got stuck in that dumpster. They went in probably looking for trash and weren't able to get out. This raccoon family needs a rescue. Luckily, a nice man found them. He knew right away that he had to help. Walking back with our plank. He picked up a really long piece of wood. I wonder what he's planning to do. All right, guys, ready? I hope the raccoons know to stay out of the way. Oh, wow, they're using the board to climb out. How'd they know? There's two. Three, four, there's five. Those raccoons are huge. They are so good at climbing, they almost seem like monkeys. But hey, the last one is a baby and is scared. 
and only puts one paw on there because it's still not sure what it wants to do. The rescuer is moving the board so it's easier for him. Yeah, I'll fix it for you. Hopefully now the last raccoon can get out. Oh, I hope this works. Come on, little raccoon. There he is! Come on. He starts slowly but surely walks his way out. And he gets his big raccoon hiney up, jumps on the fence, and climbs to freedom. Out of the dumpster. Another successful rescue. Hey, wait a minute. The rescuer returned to the dumpster the next day, and some of the raccoons were trapped again. Oh my gosh. Someone should lock those dumpster lights. Well, at least the rescuer and the raccoons know what to do. Hopefully, this will be easier the second time. Only three this time. The rest of the family was careful. There's the first one. You're upside down, you silly one. You're silly. One goes, yay! And then he climbs up. And then the uh, last one does the same thing. Except, oh no, he slips on the first try. Then gets back up. Oh, wait for me, wait for me, guys. Go on, go home. Yeah, go home. No more dumpsters, okay? Bye, guys. These raccoons are crazy climbers. I wish I could climb like that. Bye, raccoons. Stay safe. And remember, no more dumpsters. The guy helping the raccoons was pretty brave and smart. He used his resources. Instead of trying to get a, a rope, set it down, and have the raccoons climb up the rope, that probably wouldn't work so well. You never know. Remember, if you see an animal in trouble, do not try to rescue them by yourself. Ask an adult family member for help. My mom helps me with the dogs I rescue. The cutest baby raccoons were stuck in the wall. This rescuer had to cut through a wall. They should not be in somebody's wall. They should be with their mama. How'd they even get in there anyway? Maybe they got lost or they fell through something and landed inside someone's wall. They dug through the through the roof, landed in there, and someone saw, oh, there's a hole in my roof. <laughs> Repaired it, and then like, ding, 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 ding. Oh, wow, I didn't realize I had baby raccoons in here. Don't worry, raccoons, we're gonna get you home. <coughs> now that the rescue had cut a big hole, it was time to start pulling the babies out. There's the first raccoon. They're so little. There's number two. And number three. I think they're pretty cute. And the fourth one. How did they all fit? Five raccoons. The raccoons were safely out of the wall. But now what? What do you do with a pack of rescued raccoon babies? The rescuer came up with a plan. He would put the baby raccoons in a special box and leave them on the roof of the house where he'd found them. 
Then he'd wait for the mama raccoon to show up and take her babies home. Okay, the babies are in the box. Look, there's the mama! The rescuer left the box alone to make sure the mama wouldn't get scared and run away. But instead of taking the babies out of the box like the rescuer hoped, there's our box. The mama raccoon moved into the box to be with her babies. We have a mama. There's a little baby tail sticking out. What are you doing, Mama? This can't be your new house. You've got to go live in the wild. This is just a box. But the rescuer trusted the Mama would soon figure out what to do. And just like he hoped, she took her babies out and went off to look for a home in the wild where it's safe. Bye, raccoons. how the mama was carrying the raccoons didn't really look so comfortable. They could just go <laughs> juggle some babies. Those raccoons are probably feeling like, hallelujah, we're out of that wall and now we're living with our mom. If you see an animal in trouble, do not try to rescue them by yourself. Ask an adult family member for help. My mom helps me with the dogs I rescue. Are those? Aw, baby raccoons! They're all snuggled together in a big baby pile. But they are not where they're supposed to be. Some people found the raccoons in their attic. Not a safe place for raccoons. Not one bit. But don't worry, animal rescuers are on their way. And they've got a plan to save this whole raccoon family. These rescuers are pros. They save baby raccoons all the time. The trick to saving babies is to wait till their mom is not around. So she doesn't get nervous and bite you. But their mom is right there. I'm pretty sure she's trying to hide, but no offense, mom, you're not so good at it. Like you're kind of wide out in the open. The rescuers need to pick up the babies without the mom noticing. They need to be very sneaky and quiet and fast and brave. Okay, here we go. Fire up the louder meter. <laughs> Baby number one. Oh, they're really cute. They haven't even opened their eyes yet. That means they're really young. Probably only a week old. Here comes the second one. <laughs> they make a sort of squeaking sound. <laughs> Quiet, babies. This is a stealth mission. The last thing we want is the loudometer to go. <laughs> Number three. Into the rescue pouch, baby. <laughs> Mama's getting nervous. Hurry, you have two babies left. There's the fourth baby. Go, go, go. And five, the last one. All the babies are in the rescuer's back. Aw, looks like some of them fell asleep already. But they can't open their eyes yet, so it's kind of hard to know for sure. Okay, now let's pick up Mama. Uh, maybe we should come back later. Get out of there! Quick! Once the rescuers were out of the attic, they climbed onto the roof. They have a special box to put the babies in so the mom can find them. It's warm in there so the babies can stay overnight if they need. But I don't think they'll need to stay for long. This baby is very noisy. Yelling, Mom, come get me! I don't know who these people are. Mom! The rescuers left all the babies in the box. And then, 
Their mama found them. I guess she didn't need as much help as the baby is getting out of the attic. Wow, she's really good at opening doors. She carried him off to find a new home that was safe and not an attic. Being an animal rescuer is a pretty cool job. I don't know if I would necessarily be a wildlife rescuer. It would be cool to see raccoon babies, but I don't know if I could do it with the mom standing right there. Because you never know whenever the mom could turn around and snap. I think just keeping saving dogs would be more my thing. Remember, if you see an animal in trouble, don't try and rescue them by yourself. Ask an adult family member for help. My mom helps me with the dogs I rescue. All right, so we got a mama and her two babies stuck in a dumpster. Somebody's trapped in that dumpster. Are those... Wait. Raccoons in a dumpster? Raccoons already got rescued from a dumpster and rescued from a garage and from a basement and from a roof and from a backyard. When will they learn? Okay, raccoons, it's time to get you out of that dumpster again. A mama and two babies are down there and they really do need help. They seem too nervous to leave on their own but it's trash day. If they don't get out soon, they'll get dumped into a trash truck. But this rescuer isn't gonna let that happen. He is gonna do whatever it takes to save these raccoons. He brought special rescue equipment to help him. That stick has a rope on the end. He wants to get it around the mama to pull her up but it has to go around her belly, and she is not moving. He tries to nudge her with the stick. Whoa! Oh, he's almost got it. Okay, he got her belly. And up she goes! I think the mama wants to take pizza with her. <laughs> The mama is out. Now, the two babies. Just like the mama, they'll need some nudging. They're peeking up. Ah, too slow. They really don't want to leave that dumpster. Must be all that pizza down there. Mmm, trash pizza. All right, the stick doesn't seem to be working. What's he going to do now? What? <laughs> Ooh, they did not like that. But now they're moving. And he can get the rope around the first baby. I know your family in one second, bud. And she's out. One more to go. He's the one that growled. I don't think he's mad anymore. He seems to know that the rescuer is there to help. He lets the rope go around him. And he's out. That one rescuer saved the whole family of raccoons. It wasn't easy, but when an animal is in trouble, you never give up. Even if the raccoons that get stuck everywhere. Actually, I would like to send a message to all raccoons. Stop it. Stop getting stuck places. It's crazy how many places you keep getting stuck. Stop it. And if you don't, we'll rescue you anyway. <laughs> because, well, that's what animal rescuers do. But I'm going to be mad about it. Remember, if you see an animal in trouble, do not try to rescue them by yourself. 
ask an adult family member for help. My mom helps me with the dogs I rescue. That's the mom raccoon. She really needed help. They cut a hole right through the wall so they could find the baby. They were so happy to see each other. Hey guys, it's me, Roman. This next story is about a mama raccoon who accidentally made her nest in the craziest place, in someone's roof. Her little baby raccoon accidentally fell right in. A rescuer came to help the baby. We're in a downstairs bathroom. If we listen carefully, we can hear the baby crying. So we know that a baby has fallen down. Hopefully we can grab the baby and pull it out. They cut a hole right through the wall so they could find the baby. There he is. They gently pulled the raccoon right out. The rescuers decided to take the baby raccoon up on the roof so his mom could find him. And then... There she is! They were so happy to see each other. Don't they look great together? That's a perfect picture. The mom raccoon took her baby to a new nest where they could be snug and safe and where there were no roots to fall into. She carried him all the way in her mouth. And that's just a perfect way for me to end. Thanks for watching my real rescue story with me. Bye! If you see an animal in trouble, don't try and rescue them by yourself. Ask an adult family member for help. My mom helps me with the dogs I rescue. That mama dog, she takes care of the baby raccoons like they're her own babies. And it's just the cutest thing. raccoons are called Rain, Storm, and Haley. They got lost and didn't have anyone to take care of them. So they went searching for help. And they wound up in the backyard of a special family. Who decided to become animal rescuers. At first, Rain, Storm, and Haley felt scared. They were in a whole new place they'd never been before. They were very skittish and unsure what their new environment was. They needed someone to make them feel safe. They needed a friend like Ashlyn. She nuzzled them and licked them clean. The dog was taking care of the raccoons. And before long, they were happy, and they wanted to play. That mama dog really was doing a favor for those little guys. But Rain, Storm, and Haley still needed to get stronger. So the family fed them, again, and again, and again until they were big enough to go on adventures. In a matter of days, they changed. They went exploring and ran around and went on walks with the family. When we first took them for walks when they were little, they could barely keep up. Now my dogs run with them because they can keep up with them. And they loved people. They're very playful and social. If I walk into the room, they follow me everywhere. I pretty much have raccoon slippers on my feet all the time. They have so many different furs. 
they want to play, they want to investigate, they want to cuddle and they want to be around you and they want to feel safe. But most raccoons don't live with people all the time. They want to be out in nature. So the family taught Rain and Storm and Haley the tricks they need to live in the wild. They taught them to climb trees and flip rocks to search for bugs so they can eat them. Even how to fish. We're just here to try and teach them the life skills that they'll need to be able to survive and thrive in the wild. After everything the family taught them, the raccoons were ready for anything. What are you doing up there? They've gone from scared baby kids to happy raccoons. All thanks to their new family of animal rescuers, especially Ashlyn the dog. Really cute. They still have that big mama dog to be their mama. Bye! If you see an animal in trouble, don't try to rescue them by yourself. Ask an adult family member for help. My mom helps me with the dogs I rescue. Dodo Kids. Help the kittens find the subscribe button.